Oreganum Syriacum by Nicole Vajani. Oreganum Syriacum is part of the Lemonese family. It is a variety of common names, including Majorium, Cerium Oreganum, and Wild Thyme. It is known for its aromaticity, which is caused by the presence of essential oils. The plant is predominantly used as a seasoning in foods and in traditional folk medicine throughout the Middle East. Normally, it is dried and used in a spice blend known as zatar, which can be seen on the salad to your right. Traditionally used as a wild plant, Oreganum syriacum has just recently been introduced into cultivation practices. Research is showing that the chemical composition dramatically changes between the wild and cultivated plants as well as the, where it is harvested throughout the Middle East. This plant is also an herb. It is predominantly found in fields on hills, mountains, and valleys throughout the Middle East. Recently, however, the crop has gone from being solely a wild plant to being mass cultivated. This change has introduced Oregonum syriacum to a variety of new habitats, including low plains. In nature, Oregonum syriacum is a small, green, leafy herb commonly made into a spice. The taste and odor of this plant can be attributed to two main essential oils. It has a very pungent odor and warm taste that is attributed to carbacol, and an aromatic smell and spicy taste that can be attributed to thymol. Oregonum syriacum is a plant that grows spans from southern Europe to India. A large amount of variety is seen in wild thyme. It is particularly due to its variety of locations throughout mountain ranges and its occurrence at various altitudes. It grows in the wild from January to June, and harvest time is during the months of April, May, and June. Currently, research is being conducted and how to improve cultivation of this crop because its plant chemistry significantly changes with harvest time, soil, altitude, plant part, and geographic region. The plant is mainly analyzed for its essential oil components, thymol and carbophyll. Various studies all aim to find a time and region during which the presence of these essential oils are most amplified. In the study shown above, essential oil levels were measured after harvest time. The findings showed that oil concentrations were highest in June and in regions of higher altitude. Here, this is Majdal Salim. Wild thyme has a wide range of traditional uses in both folk medicine and foods. It has been traditionally used as a medicine around the Middle East. One of its most common applications is for gastrointestinal problems. Other folk medicines have included its use as a stimulant, sedative, and antiparasitic. For instance, in Jordan, traditionally it has been used to treat constipation, common cold, cough, influenza, abdominal pain, and blood coagulation. Wild thyme is most commonly found as the main ingredient in a spice blend known as zatar, which can be seen on your left. Mixed with olive oil, this blend is eaten daily throughout the region. It can also be added as a seasoning on salads, as you see on the top, pastries, meats, yogurts, and most commonly in a traditional dish known as manouche, which is shown on the bottom right. A traditional belief shared by communities is that by eating zatar, one will make oneself smarter and sharper, making it a functional food. The chemistry of wild thyme can vary greatly in its concentration of secondary metabolites. These variations can be attributed to a wide range of factors, as previously mentioned. The two compounds that have obtained the most attention are the essential oils, thymol and carbacol, which are found in larger quantities within the plant. The ranges for carbacol can go from 2.7 to 69.8%, and for thymol, from 0.3 to 57.6%. A lot of focus has been placed on these two essential oils because they are both strong antioxidants. Several fatty acids are also found in Oreganum syriacum. The most important include mysteric acid and linoic acid. It is notable that the, these two essential fatty acids can help regulate hormones, blood pressure, lipid levels, and inflammation. Various studies have been conducted on the potential use and health benefits of oregano syriacum. 
In one st study examining breast cancer cell line MCF7, extracts from oregonum syriacum with a high carbophile concentration were combined with ethanol to look for antiproliferative qualities. Results indicated there was a property that helped prevent tumor cell growth. The presence of antioxidants in this plant has led to the proposal that wild thyme has positive effects on most inflammatory diseases. A recent study on rats examined the plant's impact on metabolism during oxidative stress. A decrease in blood glucose was observed after treatment. A final study examined the function of oregonum syriacum against amoebas. The results shown above indicate that oregonum syriacum can kill and with a strong enough dose eliminate the amoeba within a very short period of time. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in examining the potential uses of oregonum syriacum in various industries throughout the Middle East. Plant extracts have been examined for their pharmacological implications in relation to inflammatory diseases. Wild thyme's antimicrobial and antifungal properties are also being tested for use as an herbicide in the organic industry. The antibacterial properties are being proposed as a potential use for food preservatives. The mass use of oregonum syriacum, particularly in spice one za'atar, has also led to an increase in demand for the plant. Much of the new cultivation over the last 10 years has been from small farmers that have switched over from tobacco production. This has created a new industry that is expanding and, according to a recent study, quite profitable. Its sales have not been limited to, to the Middle East. A report put out by an Israeli company indicated over $25 million in sales to the United States alone. Traditionally, oregano syriacum has been used as a wild cultigen, particularly for its use and inclusion in the spice film za'atar. Recently, there has been an increased awareness about the potential health benefits of this plant. As a result, more people are beginning to cultivate wild thyme. However, biological diversity of this plant is great and is dependent on where and how it's produced. This has led to a large amount of research on identifying the conditions under which the highest concentrations of the essential oils are present. While farmers and companies are selecting for the growth of these beneficial allelochemicals, they risk the diminished presence of other essential phytonutrients and trace minerals that could be essential for some of the traditional health benefits observed. However, given the newfound excitement over this plant, it is doubtful that its production will slow anytime soon.